remember his match against the Maz, for example, where it was like the exact card that he needed in that instance, and Ecop was so salty after that. Salty Ecop. Well, he's been playing these sets perfectly, which uh, I'm very, very impressed by. Not a lot of people actually play perfect throughout the entire series and the entire two series that I've cast. So props to have cop for sure. Uh, both players looking like they have an insane opening hand. Uh, the warrior with a, a strong curve is like very powerful. He, he's got wow. he's got armor smith, taskmaster, acolyte, and deathbite, which is like the dream start against a hunter, especially because yep. he skipped his uh, first turn. He's got board initiative. He's got removal and execute, so he scales pretty well into the mid game against big creatures like high mates. Yeah. Hmm. He's got the tools he needs to beat the hunter. We just need to. He just needs to dodge um, two high mains or something. Something insane. Uh, I think he's debating attacking and then using the taskmaster. To uh, to finish off the the hunter creeper, armoring up is also fine. Uh, this line of play opens you up to the eagle horn bow, though, which is conveniently in the hand. But Gar insta calls his um, his animal companion, and Not he sure. gets a leoc. Not Ugh. sure I agree with that. Mm. Yeah, I think shutting down armor smith is a high priority considering what your opponents can do and keep it alive with. Ecop can now execute this, um, this animal companion, start gaining more armor, bully what's ever on, on the board, and also deny the opponent from getting a Houndmaster as well. So this is a very bad start once again for the Hunter. Yeah. We've been just seeing Hunter get destroyed in these sets. Other than uh, the one game, of course, against the Priest. Or he just drew nothing. <laughs> well, he's got a board clear. And he can start things off once again with Undertaker. But then Ecop's already weathered most of the early game storm. He's got Death Spite plus whatever comes out next. And then that allows him to start getting synergy off his Acolyte to draw into more threats as the game develops. I really have to lean towards Ecop right now just by looking at what we have here. Unless there's an ability for Guard to rubber band back into the game with cards like High Main or... Uh, a big draw off Unleash the Hounds. It would take an insane series of top decks to come back from this point. Uh, well, be careful what you wish for, Impact. <laughs> this is Hearthstone, after all. I hey, cast there's more one. games, man. <laughs> there's one. We see a high main. So that's a possible way if your opponent has a very weak turn. Like, say it's just Acolyte armor up and nothing else. Mm -hmm. You have the board. Your opponent just used Execute. Do you agree with his attack there? To um, use the Eagle Horn Bow Charge? Yeah, that opens him up um, to Harrison Jones, which is mm. pretty common in Warrior decks. That's also true. It's also true. I think at this point, you're, you realize you're so far behind, you have to take some risks. I can get behind that. Yeah. There's just way, there's just, you're, you're so far behind. High main has to go down. Um, you have to get in your damage. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Shield block, shield slam. Well, there you go, the two card combo. So, how about insane top decks met by slightly more insane top decks? I like it. Okay, so he kills that and then plays Armor Smith. And kills both the creeps, uh, creatures in play. Um, he should attack with the... Uh, if he was going to clear, he should attack with the, the death spite to get an extra couple armor. But I guess he doesn't yeah. want to do that. Well, maybe now he doesn't want to do that, given <laughs> that he thought about it. He should have thought about it before he goes for the instant decision. But yeah, you're absolutely right. I think it was it would have been better to just kill it anyway. It denies um, Houndmaster getting a free uh, armor smith. Yeah. Also denies kill command on the guy. At least it's not kill command to the face. 
Sure and enough. Now Gara is sitting, looking at a board clear with his opponent able to take the board with whatever he draws. He cops still looking for something, and that's that's great. That's excellent. That was just the card he was looking for. Yep. He card needs something equip big off this web yeah. spinner, by the way. Yeah, he can even equip the uh, the war axe to continue to deal with more mid game threats and let him play Ragnaros next turn. So with Sounds war axe, good to me. With war axe and uh, sludge belcher, you're pretty strong here. Yeah, excellent play once again from. He caught making sure not to just overvalue hero powering as much as some people think it's the key to staying even with Hunter. He's just recognizing his lead, just pressing for it. Mm -hmm. And Garlic gets Leper Gnome. How's that for great top decks? Uh, <laughs> he gets, uh, he can kill it with the, uh, I would kill it with the, uh, the Sludge Belcher myself personally. Kind of just oh, prevent that an extra two damage. <laughs> the Leper Gnome just does nothing. Just four damage, which is pretty inconsequential at this stage. And the snipe onto the Lotheb. Gara is getting some of the getting some good draws, but he's been getting some bad draws. And two back to back poor draws in Leper Gnome and his Hunter's Mark. So he's just gonna be sitting here uncomfortable. Meanwhile, Ecop does have Gromosh and Slam in hand as a way to finish the game on turn ten. Yeah, or he's just going to... Well, he has no good play this turn if he doesn't do something. There's nothing wrong with just uh, playing the Grom and attacking. You're so far ahead at this point. You have um, a 50-50 to kill the creature. and uh, Well, you can kill the creature too, guarantee with Grom. Well, yeah. And that, yeah. I guess I'm just valuing face damage a bit too much. Because at this point you're just good. trying to you're just trying to close out the game before the uh, the hunter can draw something mm. crazy. Well, Gara needed buzzard, but it doesn't look like he can do anything about this. He's looking at 13 damage just with onboard immediately, so he can't even survive. Yeah, I think he's just gonna show him his cards here. Say, uh, good game. And just like that. Ecop's going to win 4-0 over Gara in the grand finals. How's that for decisive victory as uh, Ecop is going to do a little victory <laughs> dance? I like it. I can respect it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I played in Prismatic Cup, so they're exhausted. But Ecop finally able to get another tournament under his belt. That marks his second uh, tournament win after Take TV Invitational. And he is this Tarstats Season 1 champion.